I am very cat-minded. I've always had cats, and I think a catless house is a soulless house. And I now have two. My lovely Jeannie was an Norwegian forest cat by her birth, and um, a little black Ptolemy who just arrived at nine weeks old. A lovely pair. I say I missed out on family life. My girl was killed in the war, and that was that, of course. But I wanted a wife, and I wanted children particularly, because I wanted a son, but uh, it was not to be, thanks to the late Herr Hitler. So, um, I have no intention now to be a pandering to the Germans or the French, or the Spanish, or the Italians, or anybody. I'm English and I'm going to stay that way. People ask me why I wear a monocle. I've done so ever since I was 16. Reason? My eyes are not equal. I mean, this one isn't so good. It's all right. I mean, I can see perfectly well without the monocle. But if I put the monocle in, my two eyes are equal. So I need them most of the time. I must say, I sat on my main monocle the other day. This is a reserve, and I'm trying to get used to it. Back soon. We are now in a strange position. We're in a world where we could destroy ourselves and haven't got the civilization not to do it. And we are not playing the leading role we should. Therefore, I want to come back to Britain playing the leading role in world affairs, and we'll do that when we have new leaders and new people. How do we lead? Morally, technically, and by what I call civilization, which many people are now losing. Somebody else asked me to, what would I say if a flying saucer then to my garden, a little green man came out and said, take me to your master. You know what I'd say? Good afternoon, to your coffee. Uh, please come with me from the old television studio. <laughs> I fear it won't happen. One of my great interests had always been music. I can't remember the time when I wasn't trying to play the piano. I've got my first composition at the age of, at the age of 10, even now. I played the piano, I played the xylophone. When I was about eight, someone came to see us and had a little xylophone. I don't mean a toy, I mean a proper little xylophone. And I tried it and found it was fun. So I went on from there, and I finally got my own xylophone. And I even played another Royal Command performance once. And there were plenty of recordings of me playing the xylophone. And I was very sad I can't play it now, believe me. That was a great joy of mine. But sadly, my wretched spine has gone. It's an old wartime injury, and it's let me down. And it's cooled my hands. Therefore, I can't play the piano. And I can't play the xylophone, which I never through curse. I wish I could, but it's all gone. So sadly, I can't do it. And apart from losing my sight, one of the worst things that could have hit me. In the morning, I come down to the music room and look longingly at the piano. That is Jeannie. We found that her mother was an Norwegian forest cat, had an affair with a local cat. When we had her, we made one crashing mistake. She would take one of her brothers too. And unfortunately, I was in the hospital and we didn't. So, we thought Jeannie might want to have a companion, so we now acquired Ptolemy. Thank you.